Hello everyone, my name is Stefan, I am a PM on the Remote Desktop Services team. What I want to show you today is a very quick and easy way to set up a domain controller in your uh, development or test environment or POC environment. To do that, we obviously need to go to the Azure portal. Now that we are in the Azure portal, what I'm going to do is click on create a resource. Here I'm going to type template deployment. Template deployment, I am going to select create. And here we have quick start templates. So there's a lot of teams in Microsoft that work on these templates to simplify our lives as IT professionals. So here I'm going to be looking for domain. And you can see as soon as I start typing the word domain, I actually get quite a few options. So we really need a new domain. So let's go grab that one. Click Select Template, here, um, Standard Azure Deployment, Resource Group. I'm going to create a new one since it's an empty subscription, something descriptive. Active Directory VM Resource Group, Region, that is fine, Username. In my case, I'm going to default to the usual admin, Password, Domain Name. Now, in my situation, the domain name. Uh, hopefully you can see it up here. It's my domain name is actually gt1108 on Microsoft.com. So I am gonna go with that one as the domain name. And then the DNS prefix will be 1108. Now I actually changed my mind and I'm not gonna call it admin. So let's go with as I say. Now for the domain controller, we don't need a very powerful VM. This is plenty. Uh, one common mistake that I see in test environments is people go with Azure Active Directory domain services. That thing is expensive for small environments. If you have like two, three, four users, Azure Active Directory domain services will go on eat your own cost. A cheap machine, maybe an A series, a B series will be much better. We can just leave the rest as the defaults. Review and create, past validation, excellent, create, that's it. We deployed a domain controller. Well, we kicked off the deployment. Uh, I will resume in a few minutes once this is done. So after about uh, 10, 12 minutes, the deployment has completed. We have our VM created. Let's uh, take a look here. You can see the individual steps. So a VNet, availability set, public IP address. Being a domain controller, that's not necessarily a good idea, uh, but we can fix that. VM itself, the network interface. This was what created the DC promo, so we don't have to do that manually. And then the VNet DNS. We'll go here into the subscriptions. Oh, sorry, into the resource groups. And you can see I have my ADVM resource group. Let's connect with that account that we created, the template created for us. So key here, obviously, public IP address or world balancer. So I'm going to connect and here instead of my credentials, thank you Windows for picking up the wrong ones. I'm going to enter the same credentials I specified during the deployment of the ADVM. And then I'm going to click OK. And hopefully my credentials uh, and my password were correct. It seems to be working. So this is us establishing connection to the uh, VM via the RDP protocol. And here will be the really the last step that we need to do, which is install the Azure AD Connect. Why? Well, I want to use this VM in Azure Virtual Desktop. So for that, uh, for those intents and purposes, we need our domain controller to synchronize with. Azure AD. Okay, so since this is the first run of my domain controller VM, there are a few interesting things that I have to do, like select the network. Yeah, that's not longer relevant being in Azure. And you can see the server manager. Here I have my uh, users and computers. Uh, this is from where I will create my test users. Uh, now, Azure AD Connect. 
I am gonna download it on my local computer and move it to this machine. So what I did is I went to any browser, any search engine and typed Azure AD Connect. One of the first two results will be this, uh, this product here. We'll download that really quickly. It's about 100 megabytes. So, so I am gonna grab the Azure AD Connect from my local machine and move it to my domain controller to go over and set up the last piece of preparing this VM to be my domain controller for Azure AD. Now, I'm not gonna wait for this to copy two minutes. I'm just gonna pause the video and resume once it's done. Once a copy of the Azure AD Connect has been completed, I'm gonna go and start the installation wizard. Hopefully this is fast. Okay, uh, really quickly, I agree, obviously, not much of a choice. Use express settings here. Then this is going to do some detection slash setup. So what are my Azure AD credentials? Click next. Again, doing the validation of the credentials by checking uh, if I can connect to, if Azure AD Connect can connect to other Active Directory. So obviously it was able. Local admin credentials, this will be the same credentials that we specified during the deployment. SSA under the same domain, we click next and we'll let it sync. And now we can see that it's syncing and it was able to, uh, it was actually really fast, uh, caught me off by surprise, but you can see it was able to authenticate, do quite a few things and now we have our Azure AD signing configuration screen. So here, uh, yep, that's fine. I am okay, not matching my UPNs. This is a test environment. Click next. And uh, this will do the synchronization between my domain controller and Azure Active Directory. And in about 10 minutes or so, well, more like 24, because I went waited about 14 minutes for the VM deployment. We went from not having a domain controller to having a domain controller in our um, ABD environment. And then we also set up Azure AD Connect. With that said, uh, thank you and see you soon.